So in data analytics, uh, most of the data is available in CSV files, but not in text files. We don't accept text files. We, when, when you perform a survey or when you collect a secondary data, like suppose if you go to some uh, website and you collect some secondary data, all this data will be, able, you have to organize your data in uh, columns. In data analytics, the most uh, expected uh, behavior is to save the data in uh, columnar fashion. So when we want to save the data in columns, obviously we need a spreadsheet application or at least a comma separation. So usually what happens is, we'll, uh, whenever we perform some survey, I think Excel is not there. Yeah, it is there, okay, fine. I'm so fortunate to find Excel in this. So when we collect data, either it is secondary data or primary data, we, so mostly we try to save the data. We, we, we try to store the data in spreadsheet. And finally, by the time we, um, we, we go for the analysis, when we analyze the data, um, imagine that I'm going to analyze the data in R, Python, or maybe in SPSS even for that matter. SPSS accepts Excel, Excel data, but there is another software application called PSPB, which is open source version of it. Suppose if I have some data like this. Okay, I have a name. And then uh, some sort of like you know age, and I will have one more uh, column like uh, uh, satisfaction. So here, what happens is I don't need to, and uh, this is only for the reference. I am just uh, ID maybe some some sort of ID. Suppose if you are if we are pulling the data from the database, uh, every entity is going to have the ID, uh, maybe employee or customer or. They're all going to have the ideas, okay? So I'll just, uh, you know, create some dummy data, some 10, you know, records of data. Imagine that uh, we are just trying to, now we don't know what is the source of, maybe from the website or maybe from the database or maybe. So here name some, um, I don't know, kind of, uh, shall we, MK, MS, MK. Um, hello, what happened? Okay, uh, then uh, maybe I can uh, again start. Good, nice computer. So Sahiti, uh, and then I come up with Deepak, Deepak, Ramnath. I don't know, maybe I'm uh, Raj Raven. And then uh, we have Akash. Yesterday there was some girl here, Vishita. So some kind of uh, new name side. Uh, and then I want to have a finish. Okay, no. Then here I'm just going to create some time between. Yes. Between, uh, maybe some, I know this age is going to be some 18 to 18 or 16, 18, 18 to, I am 45 by the way. So like this. So data, most of the time, satisfaction, I want to take some liquor scale and then uh, brand between, I use one to five scale, okay? So that, uh, so don't care, my age is 32, I'm 45 actually. Ramnath is 40, I'm sorry, Ramnath. Okay, Ramnath happens to be 40 here. So these are all dummy data. Now what happens is, <coughs> we need to save that in the form of a CSV file, right? That is how data, Suppose I want to analyze this with the help of R. I need to have CSV because R don't uh, support Excel and Python don't support Excel. This computer is so slow and I want to save this as uh, CSV UTF-8. Where is it? Open format. MS-DOS, CSV Macintosh. There must be some CSV comma derivative. But UTF is not there, okay. So this is some dummy file, dummy data. Dummy data. And this is going to be CSV file. And where I want to save this? I want to save this in my folder with the name Java. Okay. There I save this. So this is how the data looks like. So when we perform some sort of, uh, you know, most of the time in data analysis, so I want to, in future, I don't know, maybe I want to handle a couple of classes where I would like to explain you how to perform some summary statistics. So here, 
suppose uh, I choose to go to the class here. So this is E. I'm going to J. Uh, so I want to open the perspective Java programming. Why I installed EE? Because in EE you will be having Java development environment. So this Java, okay. Now when you open the Java perspective, I'm in the web development perspective because it is better if you install uh, you know EE. You will be having uh, both you know as well as C. I don't know. I was trying to install. So create Java project. So this is going to be a CSV, I call CSV, uh, CSV test, let me, so this is using uh, 16 like this, that's okay fine, now go to the source, yeah, this computer is very slow. So I'll create a, So, come on, we create a class here, and this class is going to be CSV, CSV test. And I want to use a main, uh, even if you, okay. So here I'm going to now scanner, uh, SC, or whatever it is, SR, whatever it is, new scanner, and then new file reader, and then I need, uh, so I'm going to create uh, files, a folder inside the dummy data dot CSV. Now what happens, I'm just going to, so here I go to the project level and then new folder and uh, the folder name is going to be files. And here in this, I have to get that data file. Where is that? See this dummy data, I just drag this and drop it. Uh, This is not going to copy, paste, paste, yeah. So drag and drop is not working, but it is a dummy data. So now there are problems here. Let us handle these problems. Uh, I want it from the scanner from util, right? I said it is from util. And again, scanner from util. And then file reader from IO, I think. File reader from IO. And then everything is okay. I think there is a problem here. Throws, uh, yeah, try catch. I'm happy with try catch. Uh, now, uh, so what we need to do? While sc has next, if at all, has any data, then sys out uh, sc next. Print that line and then show me what. Uh, so this is the minimum. Let's, uh, yes, I got the data here, right? See how simple it is, only three. So first one is creating a scanner object and uh, using by using the file uh, paths. Suppose if you have this uh, file somewhere else in your disk, then you can uh, use the full uh, you know, path. Then while, there are only two methods. We need, there are so many methods with this object but we need only two methods, has next, is it has next, true, <coughs> then <laughs> do it, read it, then you'll get the entire data. Okay, this is one way. Now let's go back to the textbook and see, this is one way. Now how are you going to split the data? See, this is reading the data is not, uh, so reading the data, suppose if I'm creating a web uh, site, I want to use the CSV file in my web uh, page. Imagine that I go to a website and where I want to provide some, kind of uh, util, uh, I mean, uh, I want to uh, provide a feature to my users that they want to see, they want to upload the CSV file and want to see it in some web page, then this is okay. I can just use the scanner and update this data in the web page. But if I want to process the data, say I have the age as well as satisfaction, there are two numeric values. In which case, what I need to do is, I'm going to create one more uh, package. The package is going to be data analysis. Now this data analysis, I'm going to create a class. It's not data analysis actually, okay. I'm going to create a class. The class is going to be data. And then I want main uh, class here to test. And here what happens is, uh, this time I'm going to handle this with a buffer reader. Buffer 
buffer reader your is equal to new buffer buffer reader and then new file reader and then we have the path files dummy data dot csv so now what is this buffer reader i want it from io yeah this is also from io now i want file reader from io and now okay let's go ahead think that this unhandled exception by file not found exception right so this is going to be uh, i need to throw some try catch so it is telling me that you know you, you may be having you, you may you're going you may likely encounter a, you know file not found exception then in which case how are you going to handle that so it is asking me so i want to handle that exception with try catch this discussion comes in next uh, okay now we have beyond object while um, here to read the data from this file line by line i need uh, i need a, a variable called line this is equal to this is just uh, this is just going to be the while uh, inside line is equal to br read line okay e is not equal to null okay it's not equal to null means if at all i have something to read we are add throws uh, declaration clause from the try catch this is not equal i was telling the okay one is sufficient but uh, now line is equal to read we are your i think we are read line yeah no 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 we have line here we have line here now what i need to do is i need to find a way to i need to find a strategy the strategy is going to be splitting so yeah i need to create an array i need to create an array so that array is going to be string maybe i can call a person because this is going to be a personal information this is information about the person like one mk mk and uh, age so this is all about the person's information now what i need to do is line split okay what uh, by using comma so whenever you encounter comma then you just uh, you know and then what you do is sys out um, not inside the while i should do that uh, okay okay so i come out of the yeah inside try sys out and then p i think uh, it's uh, telling me the turns out as a very so what i need to do is in while itself i do one thing uh, sys out p i want the information about the names so names is going to be the uh, column number 1 you see here this is zero java indexing starts from zero is a zero based indexing a name age so i want to print the name okay <laughs> maybe i don't know kind of i can also print the so let let's see this i'll stop here and let's see this yeah i got the name i got mk sanity something like that all the names now suppose if i use uh, index 2 then that should be h and so this should be h yes i got all h particulars of the individuals if i use 3 then that should be satisfaction that's it now up to here this is what documentation covers so what are we going to do with this data so we have data in csv but uh, we need to analyze right so analysis of the data is what is required so there are different ways to analyze this data maybe i can now uh, find out the mean age standard deviation of the age we have age particulars as well as uh, you know the satisfaction details of the individuals we can uh, perform univariate statistics we can perform bivariate statistics we can do a lot of things now here for for the sake of simplicity what i do is i'll just create a, a method okay public static maybe double 
<laughs> this is going to be uh, here we have integer based information. Actually, it should be double I call int. Okay, int mean. There are different strategies. See, I don't need to write, uh, actually, I don't need to write, uh, you know, you could have int data. There are a number of, uh, you know, th th there are already, there are libraries available. We can just, you know, download the libraries, attach the library, and then we can make use of it. Is asking me return address. Okay, zero. I think, yeah, it's asking you. So now for int i in data, so what you are going to do is sum int sum plus is equal. I think it won't work because sum plus is equal to i. Okay, it's telling me that you don't have what is this uh, int sum. Same, you know, this is arithmetic average of sum. I'm trying to. So going to be zero. Now, what happens is come out of the for loop and then return uh, sum divided by data length. Okay, this I have been talking to you from the beginning. So, all of you know how to write uh, basic code for mean. I'm writing my own code because you know why? Because I'm happy to write my own code. You see, if I use somebody's code, see, there, there is a, in Apache Commons itself. I'll show you the library. In Apache Commons itself, if you go to <coughs> the, you got a you got a library called Math. See here, Math. And this Math has got so many. You, know, you see how many there is. There is a, a module called Statistics. And there is a class called you know somebody's Statistics. And this is how you can make use of. You can just you know instantiate. Now what happens is I need to read all this documentation. I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste my time. And moreover, by writing this method, if I write this method by myself, I will be having Java practice. Like I'll be see here. I'm 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 defining a variable sum, and I'm using a for loop uh, to 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 some of the values, and I'm returning. So this is actually the way I'm I'm also writing a function, a method. In a class, so writing your own code for your stat, uh, analysis is always the best method, and I am confident that this method is my method, and I know what is what this method is going to do instead of using somebody's method. So since this is a static method, me what I can do is I can simply see here what happens. The p has got uh, so instead of printing this, what I am going to do is I'll just create uh, one. Uh, Array, int array. And this is just some x int. This is just going to be some sort of uh, uh, maybe I don't know kind of. Uh, so there is a uh, so for time being, what I do is I'm just going to write it as step. There are uh, there are other strategies. New int. Now the strategy is to do this, and what I'm going to do is here, I'm just going to x. Uh, let me see if I'm. Uh, it's not going to work with. Uh, so after creating p, so now I have to go for. I think I should use uh, x append will not work, x add will not work. It's, uh, I have to use one more method. I have to define a method. Uh, shall I do one thing? Now p is there here, and this p. Uh, in try itself, let me use for int i is equal to zero, and then i less than uh, maybe 10 and then uh, i plus plus i don't know. i want to actually this is not the exact way but i am x i shall i use uh, here also i can use n 
the in i in so i'm just thinking how can i get the data out is equal to I use P, P, will it come out? That is what I'm thinking. Okay, let's see. Why should I? Yeah, this is what I was expecting. P is not, um, I have to handle this P here itself. Shall I call this list? A real list? A list Little. Little. Now what I can do is um, X add. Now it comes add. And then P. So uh, P, uh, uh, maybe I think it is one or two. I don't know. Okay, now we don't need for loop. Say, and here I can sit out and then X. And this is, let's see. Uh, I'm going to print uh, X here. I'm not going to, yeah, it's just coming names are coming, right? We don't want names, we want, uh, let's take age. Yeah, they're all coming. Okay, fine, good. They're all coming. Now, what I need to do is instead of printing it, I use mean. So, mean method is there here. It is actually static method. Change method mean in the yeah, it is already okay. List it's telling me draw it in list. So list x uh, now it is going there. So I need to change this into Cannot convert the element type object into in. Why are you not? Uh, for I in, uh, for, uh, if the i is equal to zero, we say equal to zero. I less than uh, x uh, dot length. I'm trying to do it. So I'm doing experiments in class. Um, size and then. I plus plus and some i is equal to this is going to be size. It's not something there. Size. Yes. I think it should work. Okay. So I think it's not working. Mean x is uh, sys print. Sys out. And then mean x. Yes, that's it. But uh, it can be, uh, age can be four, I think. Is it what? Two. Who is what? Satisfaction? I don't know. Who is age, you know? Uh, let's uh, sys out and then P two. two. Yeah, how come it is, uh, it can't be four. I think it should be more than four. It should be close to, average can't be four, no? Uh, somewhere something went wrong. X add, uh, what is X here? Okay, so since out, I want to print X. It's working, but the problem is 
Okay, this is X. And uh, I think I have to should come here. This is uh, yeah, there is something wrong. Actually, the code is working, but it's okay. I don't want this now. I will share this code with you. Don't worry. So this is X, and this is a mean. Mean is not uh, you know, correct. This is mean is not there. I think a size, or I don't know. Uh, let me see. This is a list, you know. List uh, somewhere. Uh, you know, logic is wrong here. The mean logic is wrong. I should use something else uh, instead of size. I should. I think I should use something else. Shall I say this? Next. Size. So, nine. Size is also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, size is correct. Wait, somewhere something went wrong. Okay, fine. So the code is working, but uh, the measure is wrong. The mean is not wrong. I'll try to rectify this. Okay. So what did we discuss in this class? We discussed about how to how to retrieve the data from the CSV file. And then uh, split the, each line in that CSV file into the tokens, and use those tokens to compute uh, a statistical measure for me. Okay, the measure is not correct, but I'll try to rectify in my forthcoming class, or maybe offline. Okay, if, if it's not inside the class, but maybe offline, I can share this code with you all. Okay, so that's for this class.